Welcome back, Golly Vibes family, my brothers and sisters. Um, we're at a time where, you know, people can just say what they feel and expect people to believe it. Not only not only believe it, but also say it's true. Now, I'm going to play a video that uh, I just seen uh, Pierce Morgan and a couple people on his show Talking about Dylan Mulvaney. Um, and it got pretty interesting. So without further ado, let's just let's play the clip. Of the beauty industry fueled by things like Instagram, toxic masculinity, the patriarchy. That's on top of the undoubted stress of raising families, and let's be honest, often being the lone voice of common sense in dysfunctional households across the world according to my wife anyway. But fortunately, amid the fray, there are still some inspirational leading women out there fighting the good fight for equality and respect. That is, of course, Dylan Mulvaney, the Google Gemini version of a strong, independent woman. Dylan became a superstar by documenting her gender transition on TikTok, celebrating such core feminist ideals as cute fashion, frolicking in meadows and falling in love with boys. This brave ode to 21st century womanhood earned Dylan a visit to the White House and an audience with President Joe Biden, not to mention a marketing campaign with Bud Light, whose client base of extremely normal men revolted with such force that it cost the company more than a billion dollars. Well, Dylan's pivot to pop music is, of course, much more of the same. It's pink, it's trashy, and here's a serious point. It's packed with misogynist tropes. So Dylan Mulvaney has a song called Girlhood. I believe it's called Girlhood. These are the days of girlhood. Lord have mercy. Where, where, where have we gone? Well, he's talking about one night stands. He's talking about taking pills. He's talking about being trashy. Are those really the days of girlhood, my sisters? Is that really the days of girlhood? This man is putting on woman face. Not only that, disrespecting women. Everybody's not like that. There may be some, but everybody's not like that. Everybody's not the same. So when you say these are the days of girlhood, it's just simply not true. I know powerful women. I know great women of God. And that's that's not their life. So when you got a man that comes along, let's continue. I can't believe we are in this time. I mean, I and you got all girls in the video just dancing right by him. Like, yeah, these are the days of girlhood. Whole dude singing. Really? Many people make the mistake of thinking that all criticism of Dylan Mulvaney is transphobic. Of course they did. That's the refuge of everyone who wants to shut down legitimate debate. But Dylan's interpretation of womanhood is that all girls are lazy, depressed, promiscuous, over-medicated and addicted to shopping. She's made a very lucrative career out of saying all this stuff. Corporate America and the actual President of the United States have decided that you, we, should celebrate it. So we have, I think, a right to maybe raise a quizzical eyebrow. I have a few supplementaries. Does anyone really believe that Dylan Mulvaney is a positive role model? For that matter, does anybody really think Dylan Mulvaney is a beautiful young woman? Is the entire act a joke at our expense? Is Dylan Mulvaney a secret agent of the Trump campaign sent to expose the utter lunacy of this cultural moment? It's not anything that would make sense. On a more positive note, there are some truly inspirational women fighting the real fight for women's rights and equality. Riley Gaines is one such woman. She was thrust into the spotlight as a champion swimmer who was brave enough to speak out against Leah Thomas, the formerly pretty unsuccessful male swimmer who became a woman and immediately began destroying women in women's sport. Well, Riley and 15 other female athletes are now suing the NCAA. They say it's time to okay, fight Pierce, back. get to it. And she's right. Well, Jordan, we can easily confirm that. Um, Riley, great to have you on Uncensored. So we'll get to the uh, legal action you have against the NCAA in a moment. But first of all, Dylan Mulvaney, my real problem with this is you've got somebody making 
an absolute ton of cash by, it seems to me, mocking women and womanhood, despite until mid-20s identifying as a man because she was born a biological man. Well, it doesn't seem to me, as a woman myself, I can tell you that's exactly what Dylan Mulvaney is doing. This is the same girl who was swimming against Leah Thomas. And, you know, they gave Leah the, the trophy, even though they tied. Right? And she started speaking up about it. And really getting just harassed because she spoke up on women's rights. You remember she was at a school? I think it was San Francisco. Where they were surrounding her and holding her hostage because she spoke up as a woman saying this wasn't right. That's the type of world. That's the type of world we're in. Uh, he's made a killing on mocking women with his stereotypical misogynistic comments. And, and you hit the nail on the head. Uh, this new song, right? Reducing women down to picking up medication, being lazy, not being able to get out of bed, shopping and retail therapy, hooking up with men and being sex crazed. Again... As a woman, I have not lived that lifestyle. Um, so that's what this is. It's a mockery of a woman. And let's be real. Uh, I think the most ironic part of this is he looks like a man. If you're watching that video, he looked like a man who was wearing a wig with pigtails. He's not fooling anybody. Brandon, I mean, it's complicated. I don't, you know, I have nothing but respect for people who transition for transgender people. I want them to have the rights to fairness and equality. I'm all... sure you would have stopped oh, Annie from misgendering. Oh, hang on. I'm going to come that's to really that. That's really not true. I didn't misgender her. No, but you would have stopped her from doing okay. that on your programme. Well, OK, we'll come to you in a moment, James. Let's wait. Uh, but, Brandon, there's all these issues, misgendering and so on. Um, what do you make, of, though, of the wider thing of, of Dylan Mulvaney, this cultural phenomenon now in America, basically sending up what it means to be a woman? I think it's absolutely appalling to give credit and, cre and, and credence to a person who's mocking women. Dylan Mulvaney, I don't think is serious whatsoever. You got a gay man who has a, a oh lust for God. fame, and fortune, and what does he do? If it's being gay is not working out for you, you become trans and you try to make a lot of money, which is what Dylan Mulvaney has done. Dylan Mulvaney is not an example of women. He's not even trying to be a woman. He walks around with a five o'clock shadow and dresses up in women's clothes and mocks women. He's berating women. I have never in my life seen a woman act like Dylan Mulvaney. Not one person on this panel can show me a woman that's as flamboyant and radical and twitching and twisting and acting like Dylan Mulvaney. Are you Mulvaney. insane? Did it you watch the exist. Barbie movie? What are you talking about? What he just said, have you watched the Barbie movie? Oh my lord. Well, I'm talking about who are you to talk about, about who a woman life. is? You're real a man. Got, this is absolutely well, who, who are you to talk about? I'm not telling anyone who a woman is, but I'm certainly not telling someone who isn't a woman. I've never seen a woman. Do you think Dylan like Mulvaney is doing, Dylan, women, is doing women a favor with this? Do you know what? Dylan Mulvaney is speaking to a huge generation of which none of you understand. Like, well, what, you guys are what? over. That is my generation. Dylan has I don't know any woman, woman I've got to say, generation. of any age who thinks of anything other than Dylan Mulvaney is taking the piss. Nonsense. Well, so you don't know any woman under the age of what, 40? And they lost women under 40, yeah. Right, and you think they all, they all think Dylan is taking the piss? This, they do. No, that's insane. The ones you know I, I will say, say, you've sat here on your show and you've bashed Madonna and Sam Smith yeah. and all of these other icons. So Dylan icons just joins... Icons to you, they're not to me. Dylan he's, just joins he's, he's them, them in the, I, in the I, hall I, of But the central fame. allegation, James, is that what she does, and this, I think this video clip is absolutely indicative, she's making... It's a pop song. I, Have a, you not seen a Dua Lipa I don't, music video? To be honest with you, I don't even... I haven't got the energy to get into the misgendering debate, right? I think, I think the whole personal pronoun thing is a lot of crap. But for the benefit of this conversation, let's move past that. I'll call her she, if that's what she wants to be called. But what she is not is a biological woman. Until her mid-20s, she identified as a gay man. And that's the point there that Brandon was making. And for a, 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 someone who was a gay man to put their hand up and say, I'm now a woman. And by the way, I'm going to make tens well, of you're millions... you're misunderstanding what... Hang on, hang on. So make tens of millions of dollars mocking women, well, the, which the, is how many is, women see it. You mean, I think that is, that is wrong. mocking women, or Kylie was mocking women, or Madonna was mocking women just because Kylie they're and Madonna expressing are women. their femininity. They're women. It's not OK to say that, and you're misunderstanding 
how difficult it is to discover I, I your think, identity. Oh, I'm sorry, as I, a woman. I, I don't see Dylan Mulvaney are. struggling at all. Dylan Mulvaney has documented. Dylan Mulvaney is reveling, is reveling in mocking womanhood. No. Well, actually, the, the thing is. I Finding your identity, he said. <clears throat> so Dylan found his identity and decided to start trying to become a woman. And he's saying that's his identity. His identity is a woman. <sighs> boy, oh boy. I mean, this is it's something else. I, I don't think Dylan Mulvaney, I don't take offense to what Dylan Mulvaney is doing because it makes sense. In the current media landscape that we live in, it makes sense for this man, it's a man, to, to become as flamboyant, effectively caricature of a woman. And I don't take offense to it because I treat Dylan Mulvaney like he is, which is it's a, a mentally unwell person. She is a this, this is, he is a mentally, he is a mentally unwell person. She is not holding back. Who is that? She is not holding back. Look at Brady just cracking it up. That's exactly what this is. Wow, people are waking up finally. There's something not not clicking up top with Dill Dill. It's not something not clicking. Clearly. And they've been trying to force the world to get into a place where we agree with it. Thank the Lord, many people understand it's not right. It's off. Got the world out here trying to... They went so far as to electing a president who had this person on his show. Oh, no. Interview was interviewed by this person. The president. Uh, it blows my mind. I can't believe slow... Sl oof. Sleepy Biden was interviewed by Dylan Mulvaney. I, it blows my mind. He was interviewed by Cardi B. It blows my mind. That's the leader of the country. It blows my mind. I don't I see him as a woman. He's not a woman. He's in, a mentally unwell like person. In a case like this, where Dylan Mulvaney is only identified as a woman for what two years and was a gay man till the mid twenties, I don't think. But you, do you realize that, James, James, do you realize that Dylan? James, I don't think you have any right to compel you know, women do you to say that this is. Do you understand a how woman? difficult it is to, to realize that you're trans? To understand the complex. Do you sure. understand the complexity how does this of help that? Them? You have trans. How does this help you trans know do you have that any it's idea difficult how to find your identity it is to, and that people be a woman? Riley has a very We've discussed this before. Hang on, Riley. Doesn't make you right. You mentioned you have no idea how difficult it is to to identify as trans. Let me ask you: Do you have any idea how difficult it is to to be a woman in today's climate, and then to be entirely mocked by a man merely posing to be a that's woman? That's how do you, you feel, and that is not true. That is not. Yeah, well, that's not just not, how I feel. There's been an avalanche. There has been an avalanche of people not. on TikTok, on the left and the right, coming out now saying, "Hold on." This Dylan is wrong, is and this isn't the first time that Dylan Mulvaney has been under fire. Here's the thing. His first, his first um, days uh, of girlhood, he I'm came out after day 365 or whatever day you it don't, was. You can't compel people to do that. Yes, you can't. No, you can't. You can call it's Dylan Mulvaney. You can call Dylan it's Mulvaney whatever this. you want. It's discrimination. But Riley Gaines, of all and people. Listen, Riley, I do sympathize with you, you know about what? how no, difficult it is. Riley Gaines has had to compete against biological males. I want to listen to how difficult it is to be... A short drop. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> I, I want to understand that. I know that's tough. As a gay man, I'm also a, a victim of the patriarchy. We all bloody are. Like, it's Look, we don't need to do awful. the identity I've seen politics. the Barbie movie. You Let me tell you something. You, you, you mentioned, what are you talking about? I read the book. I understand, you mentioned, but you're just, You mentioned discrimination. You being a you woman. You mentioned discrimination. Let, you Let me tell you something. Do you believe that it's okay? No one's allowing me to finish a point. What's your point? Am I allowed to speak? Sure. I... Oh, God. Okay, fine, I finished. What's your point? <laughs> have we got one, have my, point, no, wait, Riley. my point is, Riley, that Let me say something. I understand how hard it is okay, to be a woman ahead. and that you fought so hard to be a woman. And I have so much empathy with that. So I can understand why it is so upsetting when, in your view, someone who isn't a woman comes along and says they are because it undermines all of the history of what women have been through. Yes. But that's not a trans well, woman's fault. That is men's fault. 
Men are the problem, not Dylan, not trans women. Except, oh, men are the problem. Except no, trans women, not men. Men are the of course. Who I knew we'd come problem. back to us. That is what the problem is. Ooh. Riley, are you saying it's not? Are you Let saying you're you not something. a victim? You Who is the lady in the green? Except trans women are men. Are men. Because what, what are we talking no, about? She's a victim of biological men. What we are suffering men. from as a nation, no, no, really globally, what we're suffering from, forever have been a victim of men. That is true. No, she's right? a victim. She's a victim of gay men. Here, here, let me take that's you back. This, let me tell you what so I'm gay a victim men and victim. Do you know what? Let's just pick on all the minorities. Let me Dylan Mulvaney well. is let's a gay man Megan. that's doing this. You think so Megan's a minority? I am so done with this conversation. Let me tell you. Let me tell you how James wants to control everyone's thoughts. No, I don't. I just want everyone to have a nice civilized conversation. You want to control everyone's speech, how they speak, and how they refer to people. They're not allowed to have their opinions. Yes, they are. You You want to mansplain to women what they should be thinking, and at the same time, you want to blame the patriarchy. I want everyone to be kind to everyone. Oh no, you don't. That's what. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It is not me, The patriarchy. Want to it be is, kind to me? It is not kind to ask a young girl to undress in front of a man. That is not kind. What kindness right. is? And if that's what you believe your definition of kindness is, you have a total, a totally warped perception. And let me tell you, it's not inclusive to ask a girl like myself what happened to me and my teammates. It's not inclusive to ask us to smile and step aside and allow these men onto our podiums. That is not what inclusion is. That is exclusion, and it's exclusive to the very female athletes or women in general who Title IX in the women's sporting category was passed to protect and to honor and to celebrate and to uphold. And so Riley, I think we have very Riley, for different those who, definitions of what kindness really is. Right, so, so Riley, I totally agree with you. And Riley, for those who don't uh, know what's going on with the NCAA, the National Collegiate Athletic Association in America, you're one of many athletes, female athletes, suing them for their transgender participation policy. Why? Yeah, so basically the NCAA, uh, their most basic duties are to protect athletes, both male and female, uh, to protect their opportunities, to protect their safety, to protect their privacy and areas of undressing. And bottom line is the NCAA is failing on every account of that by allowing men into our fields, onto our courts, in the pool with us, in our locker rooms. Uh, so that's what this lawsuit is about. That's what we're hoping to change here. So again, myself plus 15 other athletes who have been adversely impacted at the hands of the NCAA are now taking legal action and saying what they are doing explicitly and actively and directly is discriminating against us on the basis of our sex. And so to your point, if we want to talk about discrimination, that's exactly what my teammates and myself and my competitors and girls around the country, again, at the hands of the NCAA, continue to have happen to Well, you're them. also discriminating, but uh, what about lesbians? Are they allowed in your changing rooms? They're biological women. No, but you're talking about women. They're who... women. Yeah, yeah, they're women. You're worried about women. I didn't mention like, nothing about, I, mis no, I, mis I mentioned nothing about, no, no, what I have a problem with is I don't want to see a naked man's genitalia. I'm married, I have a husband. You think my husband wants me seeing another naked man while he also gets mm. to simultaneously, non-consensually at that, get to see me naked? No way. That goes against my values as a Christian. That goes against my values as a, a married woman. No way. That's what I have a problem with. It has nothing to do with his sexual orientation. I, I don't play, know if Thomas I likes play men or women or, or what. But right. I want to play way. a clip, uh, Riley. This is you on, Come on Joe Riley. Rogan 12 days ago, um, which you talked about another aspect of the Leah Thomas uh, story. Does Leah Thompson have sex with girls? What? Leah Thomas, rather. Yeah. At the time... Again, this is what I know based off of what his teammates have told me and what really has been public knowledge based off what they post and different things. Uh, at the time of that national championships, he was still dating women and active with women. Sexually. So obviously has testosterone. Yes. But now, um, again, based off of social media, um, he is engaged to another man who claims to be a woman. So two men, but they call themselves lesbians. Um, so who knows? But, but at, yes. But at the time. So yeah. you're a, if you're on that team, you're a woman and you have a biological male who's intact, who's having sex with women, walking around naked in the locker room with women. And if you're uncomfortable with that, you should educate yourself. You and learn it. how to use she, her pronouns and accept defeat. Yes. We're going to stop that right there. <clears throat> so Leah Thomas, the person that swam against Riley, 
Riley Gaines, I believe her name is, was still dating women at the time that he was in the girls' locker rooms naked with other women. And if they had a problem with it, they couldn't voice their opinion because they would have been outed. Probably kicked off the team. How insane is that? That's that's insanity to that's insanity to another level. Trying to accept something, not only accept it, but reward it. When they tied, they gave the trophy to Leah Thomas because they thought it would look better on camera. Isn't that crazy? And then when Riley Gaines starts speaking about it, she gets harassed at different schools, different campuses. Want to hold her hostage because of something the world tried to convince us was normal. And those who don't really have a mind of their own really believed the world and the deception thereof, the deception that came with the lies that the world was trying to feed us. Insanity. You got a man on here mad because people are calling Dylan Mulvaney he instead of she. Boy, oh, a, a man who grew up, man, who was in his 20s, a man, and two years ago decided he wanted to try to be a girl. And you're upset that I'm calling him a he? <clears throat> My Lord. My Lord. The good thing is people are waking up. There were much more people on that panel that were against the nonsense than... The person who was for it. Let's continue to wake up. And spread the truth. Hallelujah. Spread the light. Which is Christ. Ultimately. Let's get back to moral values. Let's get back to. Reality. Boy oh boy. That was that was, that was wild. You want to watch that rest of that video. You can go to Pierce Morgan's YouTube you guys. But that was pretty insane. Let's pray for people, you know, um, pray for the Lord to intervene. You know, I don't even get mad at people like this. I don't get mad at Dylan. I don't get mad at the person on the panel because ultimately they're fighting spirits. They're they're in a spiritual war, just like we are. We're just in a spiritual war with different things, different elements. But they are in a true spiritual battle. I pray for them to overcome. I've seen different people overcome. I've seen different people detransition because of the because of the Lord. I've seen people come out of that trap because of the Lord. Hallelujah. So if it can happen for these people, it can happen for them. Pray for them. Amen. God bless. Shalom.